Friday night. I was just talking to a friend who currently is a water girl here on the team. And I was just saying that it was always on my bucket list to be a water girl on the football team. I've never been able to be a part of the football team, and I wanted to be. And next thing I knew, the coach was calling, and Lakeside has just been wonderful to just welcome me in and say, okay, do it. <laughs> Welcome in week 10 of Football Friday Night. Uh, last week, Colin, we had the wedding edition. Yeah. I don't know if we're invited. Right. We had a proposal. Now we have 68-year-old Kay English fulfilling a lifelong dream, being a team manager, Lakeside coach Steve Hibbets, making that happen. You're a good guy. Yeah. Very cool to see that, and we'll have more on the huge grow town and Lakeside game later in the show. That's right, but we are going to start in South Carolina. Top 10 matchup for Barnwell, the number two team in the state in class. 2A hosting 10th ranked Woodland tonight. Here we go. This is a big one for Dwayne Garrix. Ball club, that's right. Craig Pender blasting it up the middle for a big gain for the War Horses. That's a first down. Later, TJ Miller takes the handoff, rambles inside the five. And that's first and goal. They got a couple guys Jamari Chisholm, TJ Miller, they can run it. And Dalion Creech is in another War Horse playmaker. 7 0 Barnwell. Moved to the second quarter. Barnwell starting to drive from its own seven and pounding the run. Well, I guess we moved on to Abbeville all of a sudden. Uh, but back for Barnwell. They won 48 0. So we'll go to the number one team in the state, Saluda. And that was Krizen Quattlebaum, the running back for the Tigers. Again, the top ranked team in the state. This was a top 10 matchup as well. There's Quattlebaum again for the Panthers, and you can see how this one turned out for Abbeville. So they stay undefeated as well, 48 to 20 over Saluda. Barnwell also getting a win tonight. Eighth-ranked Bamberg Earhart trying to keep pace with Barnwell. Remember those two played for the region title a year ago. Red Raiders need a win over previously ranked Whale Branch. First play of the game, that's Trayton Still handing off to TJ and Abinett for a big gain. Next play, they give it back to Inabinet. He's going to go down to the four-yard line. Round three, back to Inabinet to get it within inches. And then finally, the QB keeper. Bamber going to knock that one home. Tight ball game, but they get the win, 14 to That's seven. All right. <clears throat> Moving on, standing class 2A, Fox Creek hits the road, taking on Baseburg, Leesville tonight. Early in the first, Panthers up 7 0, and Trey Robertson tosses it to Amandre Leapart. And that's going to be good for a touchdown run. Panthers up 14 0, and they're pouring it on early. Robertson floats one, this one to Demise Long, and he finds pay dirt, whatever that means. I have no idea. You know what that means. <laughs> Panthers rolling in this one, 55 13, the final. And Silver Bluff and 96 seeking their first win in Class 2A. One walked away with a dub tonight. Third quarter, Silver Bluff leads 9 6. Watch this. Matthew Deal, he's willing and dealing. He finds Ryan Latham, who rumbles down inside the 10. 96 would later attempt a field goal, but it falls short. Now, here we go. Silver Bluff would start his own drive. Darius Johnson keeping it alive. Look at that. Shedding a few tackles. Denying the defense is what we call it. Now moving to the fourth quarter, Malik Williams fakes the handoff, drops, and finds a wide open Dominique Davis. That smells like a top play, possibly. They lead 15-6, and the final is a heartbreaker. Silver Bluff falls 29-28. Yeah, overtime. Uh, Man. So that does it for our Class 2A highlights. Now we're going to move on to Class Single A. We find a... What do you call them? Swagner Sally. Baby. That's right. Let's the, go. The top ranked team in Class 1A. Eagles, one of four area teams uh, ranked in the top 10 in Class 1A. They're all good. And they're all from Region 3. Eagles up 20 to 6 at this point. Malik Palmer handed it off on the long run. That's a first down, but Wagner Sally would stuff this drive against Denmark Olar. Now here we go. It's Gage Starnes. Gage Starnes. Get the quarterback right. for Wagner Sally. To Antonio <laughs> Swedenberg for a big game. Ball in the 38 now. Three plays later, Starnes hands it off to Jeremiah Bynum for the touchdown. The PAT was good. Wagner Stally stays undefeated. Top ranked team in the state. They win 48 to 
12. All right, Brandon, now we drop to class 4A, Millen Valley, hosting North Augusta, Yellow Jackets. Actually, this is Wilson Elko and Blackville Hilda. This one, a good one. Jaquarian James brings it all the way into the 11 yard line. Watch this on that return. It's pretty sweet. He dodges a few. And look at that. He just denies getting brought down. That's just good region football. Staying up. Here's Blackfield. Gives it to Ahmad Johnson, who refuses to go down. He's relentless, folks, until he got to the five yard line. Now, Johnson would get the call again. This time it's for a touchdown. Blackfield up 30 to 8. The final 38 15. Now, Brendan, we jump to Class 4A Midland Valley hosting the North Augusta Yellow Jackets tonight. Yellow Jackets rolling, marching down the field, fourth down, but Midland Valley gets a big stop. Here they are, the Mustangs. Harper Puckett completes the pass to Walter Baker. Baker with a big gain and gets the first down before he's shoved out. North Augusta now in possession. Jackson gets the handoff. But he fumbles. Millen Fumble. Valley's Alex Tucker gets the recovery. First down, Mustangs. Millen Valley knocking on the door. This time it's going to be Puckett looking for an open man. Puckett, can you trust it? Completes the pass to Bussy. Great catch. 35 yard touchdown. Final 35 13. 13. All right, South Aiken hosts an airport. T Brands with that tough loss a week ago to North Augusta. Airport with the ball. Marco Gilmore hands it off to Nanders Lawrence Landers. Look, weaves through the traffic. Big first down for Airport before he's drugged down. Airport in the red zone now. Marco Gilmore fakes the handoff. Gilmore gets in for the touchdown this time. Airport made the EP, so they're up 7 nothing in this Put, one. Here comes the answer. Here he is on the kickoff return. Dallas McKeever. Smells like a top play. I'm all right, I'm done. Right. right. <laughs> That's 70 out. plus 80 yards. Game's tied at seven apiece. Airport with the ball knocking on the door. And it's Mr. Gilmore. He drops back this time. He's gonna get nice and steady. Drop back and a completion. Another touchdown. They are 14 to 7. They won 1760, right? One point south. They can had some field goals, Couple. got the ball down late. Couldn't just punch it in the end zone. All right, we'll stay in 4A, Aiken High on the road, looking for their first win against Brooklyn. Casey, second half, BC, deep inside Aiken. What? A little court choreography? Did you see the spin? <laughs> Is that necessary? Oh, I got some dance moves for you. Right, Watch. that's the direction snap to Deontay Baker, finds the end zone. Stay in the third quarter, though. Aiken High with the ball for Darian Terry. Taking the pitch, but uh, eventually he coughs it up. That kind of sums up the night for the Hornets. Still looking for that first win. They fall tonight 45-7. to seven. All right, our lone 3A game, Strom Thurmond. Probably feeling a little angry after last week's top 10 loss to Gilbert on the road. Taking on Pelion. Rebels get it started early. First quarter, Jaquan Harris faking the handoff, takes it himself. That's 51-yard house call. Rebels up 7-0. Pelion trying to answer. Jacob Osmanski going up top. Deshantez Gray. Mm. Putting them in Rebel territory, uh, but you can't get too greedy against that Rebel defense. Oshmansky picked off by Josh, appropriately named Pixley. <laughs> Rebels throwing a shutout tonight, 42 to nothing. How about some scores? Still looking for HKT, but Rich Spring Manetta, another top 10 1A yeah, team. They won last night, 38 to 10. That's right, Thursday game. You were there. Yep. And McCormick wins. Excuse me, falls to Whitmer 46 44. HKT won big 48 to 6. My bad, we're getting it there. But big South Carolina block, still got a big Georgia block to go. Yeah. Stick around when we come back, we will show it to you. 